Zika virus is yet another virus like dengue. It's actually part of the same family as dengue virus, yellow fever virus. It is transmitted by mosquito, so it's also known as an arthropod-borne virus. Zika virus is responsible for the recent outbreak in Brazil, causing many cases of fever, red eyes, and unfortunately, many cases of microcephaly or small brains in pregnant women. Zika virus is actually a very mild disease. You will get fever, headache, muscle ache. Many of them will recognize that there's a bit of rash on the body and a little bit of red eyes. In fact, many people will think it is a dengue-like infection. However, the cautioning point is it is a very mild form of illness. It will be very much like dengue, but it's so mild you may not even see a doctor or recognize that you've fallen ill. Zika virus is spread primarily by the Aedes mosquito. We know Aedes mosquito as a mosquito that transmits dengue virus. So similarly, when an Aedes mosquito bites a person infected with Zika, the bloodstream goes inside and will proliferate inside the virus, specifically in the salivary glands. A few days later, the mosquito will bite the next victim and a little bit of saliva with the virus will go into the system. And with that, Zika is spread. In essence, if we are able to control Aedes mosquito, we are able to control the link between the transmission of one person to another. In other words, if we can break the link of the mosquito, we break the control of Zika over Singapore. Zika has been linked to microcephaly for several years. However, the link was very tenuous and very few. Subsequently, when the French Polynesian islands were affected, we noticed that 1% of the pregnant women who are infected with Zika virus ended up with microcephaly and their children. But when the disease spread on to Brazil, the numbers jumped to about 25% of the pregnant women ended up with microcephaly in their children. Yes, the link is becoming stronger and stronger, and so far all epidemiological links point to Zika as the cause. We have definite proof uh, from testing on the placenta and testing on the newborn that indeed Zika virus was found in these children. But this has not been proven in all the cases of microcephaly. We need a bit more time for science to establish this link with 100% certainty. At this point in time, we think there's a very strong link between microcephaly and Zika virus. We think Zika virus has undergone a mutation that is capable of making microcephaly a lot worse. We think the earlier the infection in the pregnancy, the worse the outcomes. In other words, if my wife is pregnant and she gets bitten by a Zika infected mosquito early in the pregnancy, it is more likely for the child to be born with microcephaly as compared to someone who is born much later. Now, these are presumptions and the science of it is still being unraveled. We expect, that to, we expect to know more of that in the next few months.